What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Casual Ergoner video and today I want to test out my new chronograph. This is a $40 chronograph off Wish that was slightly easier to afford than an American made chronograph you'd find at your local gun store. I haven't seen this model sold in any gun stores in my area and you'll kind of see why throughout the video. Being a Chinese product, this chronograph displays velocity in meters per second rather than feet per second. Here in America, we like feet per second, not meters per second, so for each shot I take uh, with this chronograph, I'll be translating it into feet per second during the editing. The test I'll be doing is how many feet per second per pump we can get out of the DAISY 880, and I'll be using these H&N Barracuda Greens, which weigh 6.64 grains. These aren't heavy compared to most pellets people shoot out of this gun, but they're also not the lightest pellets on the market. So I figured they'd make a good baseline for this test. And if I can't get the advertised 800 feet per second out of these pellets even at 10 pumps, then I'll test it again using these Gamo Air Stars, which weigh only 4.3 grains. So to my knowledge, these are the lightest pellets on the market, and they're going to be my best bet at getting that 800 feet per second as advertised by Daisy. The backstop you see here is a solid block of 20% ballistics gel, which is twice as dense as the gel used by FBI to simulate human flesh. This is used to test high-powered rounds used by the military, so I know it'll have no problem stopping anything coming out of this BB gun. Behind it, I also have a sheet of Kevlar, just in case uh, it goes through, which I know it won't, but just in case, because it pays to be twice as safe, and I know for a fact that the Kevlar will stop anything coming out of the DAISY 880 as well. So for the first shot, let's see how many FPS we get at two pumps. So it looks like at 10 pumps, that only gives us about 687.48 feet per second, which is not quite the 800 that Daisy advertised it as. So now I'm going to try it again with the Gamo Air Star and see if that gets us anywhere near the 800 advertised feet per second. So it looks like with the lightest pellets on the market, you can get pretty close to the advertised velocity on the box, but you still can't get exactly there. But I sort of knew that was going to happen since most air gun manufacturers list their velocity as being slightly higher than it actually is. That's just how they sell them. So either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did, and check out my channel if air guns are your thing, and thank you for watching.